that you can play and how, how well you, you are conquering territories to, to, to get what you cannot do yet at present and if that will actually happen or not this is to be seen I want to see it so this is teaching that's what teaching is much more difficult than playing playing is not difficult what difficult is to make you play great that's what's difficult that's why I got I want bigger challenge that is my challenge to make you play better. And I live to this statement every day of my life. So I, I am settling the proper uh, attitude to teach you the stuff. But if, if, what, if, if you don't take the, the advice and I'd rather do another thing on doubt or, or stop the process, the learning process, then you will delay the thing. And then you will have to start correcting the posture or whatever the blockage is. Right, that you may have in the technique, in rhythm, or in anything. These things have to be addressed properly and the sooner better. So, and then therefore, uh, very important is to get knowledge how we are, I will understand the whole process of learning, how I will learn it. This is incredibly uh, interesting thing because it's about you, how to, to, to learn, it's about you. Not what, what to learn this is this leak, this leak, this. there are millions of videos like this. No, you don't go anywhere with that material. That really does not upgrade your playing. So if anyone does not have good pickup, then what happens? And then very few of them, of those who, who thought they were advanced, maybe 10%, will come very sincerely. It happened this many times. I see guys like this. They came and they come to me and said, you know, I, I really, you opened my eyes, I believe before some people, they cheat me a thing or they told me I was great. And then I was for a while believing that I was actually advanced or intermediate or whatever. But now I know this because of this effect, this other effect, and I cannot get to this speed, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. This has to be for some reason. So I watch some more of your videos and then I find out I have problems in the posture or in this or repeating fingers or stuff that is, is, is hampering my progress, this thing. So please help me with that. And then, you know what, these guys, I admire them, because they could swallow the thing, they could, they could understand, really I, am, I, I don't have any standpoint, stand, ground to, to, to play Bagalodos as a style. I need to start from zero, I don't have problem, I do it. And now what, and they, are, they, they succeed, of course, because I make sure that they succeed. But, to be a beginner and not have any, any bad habit and then do it, is, that is much easier. So therefore, this is, this is quite, we are saying that because it's related to the power of repetition. Repetition is a, it's a double uh, edgy cutting thing, you know, it's a knife with two, with, with two sides. It cuts one way and if you repeat right, then you get right. Thing. Memorization and muscle memory, and you will end up doing it. But if you repeat wrong and think it's right, when someone comes and points it out, then you will say, Ah, oh, what are you saying? How are you there? They get upset because of this. I mean, this is not to upset anyone. I'm just telling you just exactly how Paco said this is black to me, and I say to you, This is black. I'm not changing it. Right? So before, when he was alive, I used to say, Because he said, Some people come and say, why you said this? Why you said this? Why you said this? I didn't say it. It was Paco who said it. Go to him and 
why you don't go there and say, why we have to practice with metronome? Why we have to use metronome in recordings? Tell him. You will see what he will say. <laughs> it will probably will leave you in, 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 if you go there and say, Paco, is it true? We, we can play better organic uh, beat, right? Because we don't record with metronome. And, and he may will say, yeah, go. <laughs> but, but actually, he's against that, right? And then if, if you develop a personal relationship and it's in confidence enough, or, or he wants to deliver the real thing, he will, 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 will tell you something which is shocking, maybe. That if you don't do this, metronome, you are zero. But if he says that, and now what? If he's a dancer, I will post a description of this video, He's dancer, that is the best dancer of Spain, eh? Faro, not just anyone. And he said, I got an advice for, from, for life, because he told me, you are inaccurate, man, and you go, to, go home and study with metronome. And he did, and improved like anything. So there you go, that is an example of, of, of uh, real humility. To be humble is not to, to, to think oneself as, as a fool. Actually, only the most intelligent person can be humble. Be humble means what it means humility. It means that, that, that you have good qualities and you are not proud about them. This is what it means, not that you are inefficient or full. <laughs> that is not humble. No. So, again, misconceptions, blockages. This process, this is serious. I, I will do this thing because my intention is that people are asking me this topic of learning process. What is the learning process? And this is very interesting and I am very excited to be here telling you to the best of my abilities stuff that will make you play better. And if I get that, then my sacrifice to do this, because nobody's paying me to say these things here. Now, I'm, I have no other interest but that you improve. But that's why I should say it. I don't say it for me. Just like the, the videos and the record for me. It's not that, that when I get home, I, I put there YouTube and said, okay, let me see how I play. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't do the recorded videos for me. I record them for you, for you guys, for the students to improve, right? The first thing you need to know is that the, the danger of, of wrong repetition, you cannot avoid it unless you have supervision and personalized supervision, not just any supervision, expert supervision. That's what we do in Skype. So if you want to join, just let me know and you're welcome. Thank you and I see you next time. La improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando 